Hello everyone, this is DP or Dark Phoenix and welcome back to the Let's Play of Final Fantasy Strangers in Paradise. Um, for those of you who've, well, recently looked on the game or looked at the Strangers in Paradise Twitter, the game's been updated to 1.04, which basically just adds in a new side quest, which we're not doing yet. Um, if it's one of the DLC ones, I might just do at the end. I'm not too sure yet. But last time we had done the, we had done the first segment of the Machina Cave and now I think we're about to enter the hard segment yep which is the reason why I of course saved here and ended the video short last time because this next segment is hard like really hard look at that one it makes all the others look like toys we're dead if that thing hits us there must be a way to stop it we just have to find it So what we have to do is, while also dealing with normal enemies, is try and take out that gigantic cannon. Time for a change. Which is, which can be easy. So the light from those two towers. Woo! I wonder what they do. Let's find out. That was a close one. Ooh. Oh, but what? Give up on me, Ash. Right. right, head on up here and quickly. And yeah, I guess they added this part into it as well. Hmm. Normally, you just do that automatically, but they've added that part in. Hmm. All right. Uh, how do we want to do this? Remember guys, you're gonna wanna be fast. Like I said guys, just so ignore all the enemies. Second guys.
I'm just getting rid of everything that's got no affinity. I should have done this before I ended this level again. But I completely forgot. Uh, I think we've still got a while to go, so I'm gonna have to get rid of quite a bit. Oh wait, I forgot. Uh, yeah, that should. Do that. Yeah, that should do it for a bit. Yeah, that should go. So, we've got the trident. And we've got all those. Let's head back over here. And optimize our equipment. <laughs> and we definitely want to grab this. Now the reason why we wanted to grab that is because it will give us access to a side mission later on. Right. This one won't go down easy. Boom! Hit! Oh, bomb it. Wasn't much of a fight. The next fight might not be so easy. Nothing's in our way now. Nice go. Jack, save it. There's a fight up ahead, and it won't be easy. We have to focus on what's in front of us before we can think about the things behind us. Completely single-minded, huh? <laughs> More of those cues. Let's have a look. Right then. Uh, the thing I will say about this, guys. Actually, I am gonna change my team up a bit. Um, well, what you will notice about all the levels, we, well, the equipment we've been getting is it's been giving us equip well, characters that have equipment that can that have lightning element to them. Which, I will not lie, is going to be pretty helpful because the next enemy reversing is weak to lightning. So, if, so of course, with the enchant, you're going to want to go for lightning, put all your other normal stuff on and whatnot. So, we'll go with blood weapon. All right. And, and thunder, and let's just go through. Touch it, and someone else's memories become yours. 
If you want to stay who you are, don't let it come to you. God damn it. <sighs> like, like I said, this boss is actually hard and you want to imbue yourself with the Element Knight Suite too, which is lightning, I believe. Right, the thing we're going up against. Fighting the Quake Claw. The Quake Claw is a formidable beast with a wide, wide array of offensive capabilities. Powerful snapping claws and a deadly tail are obviously, but are obvious. But abilities like missiles and wave cannon round out its arsenal. Of, of special note is the wave cannon, which Pete's which packs a real punch when it hits, dealing enough damage to either its claws, its legs, or its tail will stagger the beast, opening an opportunity to hit it hard and fast. Another thing to keep one eye on during the fight is the device on its back. Using the power of gravity, it can draw in enemies or push them away. And that's not all. It can also use its incredible fundamental force to change the trajectory of its missiles and wave cannons mid-flight. Um, so yeah. Time for a change. Um, the best way you can cheese this is if you've used the Black Mage or the Sage and just use Fundaga. Fun just literally use that and of course use or, or get the um with the sage I would say um if you want to make this easier but I'm not doing that because I haven't got the level for it um of course get the abilities for white mate well the three insignias for white and then get the three insignias for um black Third weapon. It does not fear us. Why am I not using the ability that... <sighs> I completely forgot I had some... T this is the reason why I put on the breaker. I would like to get out, I would like to get out! <laughs>
Right, destroying the gravitational control device on the Cray Claws back will arrange the beast, causing it to aggressively shorter its attacks. Don't panic and handle each one as it comes. Every Willy the Cray will fire. Not every Willy. Every Wily the Cray will. F the Cray Claw will fire its claws into the wall to cut off its victim's path. Approach to, a point, approach to point blank range, then unleash a lethal wave cannon. Uh, sorry, wait. Then unleash a lethal wave cannon. When it tries this tactic on you, quickly break the claw to secure its escape route. Complete com camouflage is another trick in this monster's seemingly endless bag of tricks. Keep an, keep your eyes peeled and get the jump on it before it gets its claws on you. Uh, seeing as this is starting to get a bit harder. Do yeah, I have the black mage. And I'm definitely using the cheese method. Right. right, because this is getting too ridiculous now. That was not easy. At least not to do it in the first attempt. Nice work. The mist is coming. <laughs> Jet, let go of me. <laughs> Jack, I'm so happy. As long as you're around, I'm sure it'll be fine. Just tell me what you need me to do. Oh, right. Sorry. No. Shut up. But if I become a warrior of light, why would I come back? I'm nobody around here anyway. Damn. <laughs> Pretty bold for a nobody. <laughs> yeah. You're free to go home later, but for now I need you here. Right. <clears throat> <clears throat> hmm. 
And now we have Memories of Water access to, along with the side quest Azure Memories to get Assassin for Jed. And we also have access to Core Memories the Greedy, I think. Oh, and we have the side mission Battle Simulator. Uh, I am not sure what this is. So I'll have a look at it when I, when I get the chance to on my normal account and let you guys know about it in the next video. But until then guys, um, see you guys, well until then, like the video if you liked it, dislike if you didn't like it, comment, subscribe and hit that notification bell so you know when I post a new video. And until then, I'll see you guys later. Bye!